Hello everyone and welcome back to Amish Koala. As you can see here, we're getting the factory all nice and set up for production. Now let me go over what exactly I'm doing. I'm using both Sterling and biogas engines on these guys because I really don't know how reliable my fuel supply is going to be. So I want to set it up so I have the option to switch between the two just in case. Ideally I'd like to go all biogas, but we might have to and we probably will have to use Sterling engines for a while. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Go ahead and break that. Let's see here. I only brought three stacks of coal so I'll have to come back and get another. Now the reason I have two squeezers or not two squeezers, two carpenters is because <clears throat> some recipes require water and some recipes require honey and we want to have the flexibility to do both. So that is my logic there and I think it makes a lot of sense okay what am I trying to do? Right, go into the Sterling engine and put coal in. Alright, now we'll want these levers back here for the Sterling engines. And then... how are we going to power the biogas engines? Because we don't want to turn the Sterling engines on with them. But if I put it in between here, it will turn both of these on. Okay, well, hmm. Well, I'm not going to worry about the biogas engines right now because we don't even have seed oil to be working with. So that really isn't a big issue. However, what is an issue is the fact that this is not currently powered. Ooh. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this redstone engine hooked up and pumping. Alright, there we are. And, oh, you know what, I did, I forgot some other things. So I'm going to get some building blocks to put on the back of these guys, and on top of that I'm going to get a Zycraft water block, because I'm going to need a Zycraft water block for one of these carpenters. So I'll be right back. All right, so we're ready to go here. Let's just go ahead and put some spruce logs up. And we'll go ahead and use these for powering at this point in time since the biogas engines can't even do anything. And I just realized I forgot the Zycraft water block. So uh, let's go with the, try this again. Okay, take two with the Zycraft water block. Now this carpenter here is going to be the water-based carpenter. So we'll go ahead and we will put the water block down here. Okay, so we'll put the water block there. And then we'll put, uh, where did my wooden pipe go? We'll put a wooden pipe here. Let's see here lever here, redstone engine, and pipe. Okay. And it should... Is that not connected to the Zycraft water block? I... What? What is up with that? Let's see here have to be the side? Hmm... Why don't you connect? Huh. So it turns out you cannot pump out of a water block like I thought you could. So I'm just setting up 
nor does it act like a source block anymore in the f correct okay okay then apparently the only thing you can do with the Zycraft water block is put it next to a valve and have it use that so you're completely useless to me and I need to go get another bucket of water and this makes me sad face because I thought that was going to be genius and spider I don't have time for your shizzle nizzle whizzle also I was using the Ednick Bees to do some enchanting, so I have some pretty awesome armor right now. So I'm not really afraid of these guys. Also, I feel like a double chest of enchantment books is kind of ridiculous, and I was able to get most of my armor to be self repairing because my armor is all Thomcraft armor, so it can do that. Alright, so now we can do this to fill it with water. Which admittedly is kind of the getaway, but that's fine, you know. I'm not going to build a tank for water just so that this will fill itself automatically. Besides, we're supposed to be the Amish koala, and avoiding Amish or avoiding automation will be good for us. And to, whoa, okay, this is the biogas engine. To be honest, just sitting here. And taking a minute to fill us up with water is not that bad, except when you click the wrong block like that. There we go, I think that's enough water for now, and I put a little chest back here that we can shove the bucket in, and the Zychronium water will just sit in the corner and think about how useless it is. So I'm going to go ahead and swap around the centrifuge and other squeezer, because we need to get some piping over to this, and it wouldn't be good to try to get piping here next to this water. So we'll just swap it around really quickly, it's no big deal. And the piping, which I am talking about, is... Let's see here, seed oil... Um, oh, right. This piping is for... Honey. Yes. This is for honey. Now this is our seed oil tank. And this over here will be our honey tank. So we need to get we need to hook this up to both of them actually. So what I'm going to do is alright. Be a little tricky wiki here, but I think we'll be okay. Let's see, where's that wooden pipe? There we go. I'll throw you down. And I'll throw throw down some other stuff. Let's see here. So if I put a redstone engine like that. Let's see here. I can power it from here. And just replace these blocks with wood so that it looks nice. There we go. Okay, so now if I come up here and you look down, you see wood. Perfect. Alright, so we're going to need some pipe arooning. And I think I'm going to feed it up the side over here. So I'll want to dig it back this way. And replace this with wood so that when you look down here, it doesn't look hideous. Okay, so if I look down here, this is going to be filled up. Alright, and that's all the wood I'll have to use. And from this point on, you don't have to replace materials because you won't be able to see it anymore. Alright, so we'll go ahead and... hmm. Where do I want to feed it up? Right here would probably be a good place. So I could go like this. Yep, I could, but first, of course, all of this needs to be replaced so that it doesn't look awfully hideous. Whoopsie daisy, that's not what I wanted. Okay. So. It's all about the aesthetics here for the Amish Koala. We want everything to look as nice as possible. Okay, 
and then we just need to scale this up to the roof and we can follow it around up there. So we'll just pop up here really quickly and I might need to make some more cobblestone pipe. Oh right, that's that's interesting. Uh, where did the thing actually come out? Okay, so it looks like it's towards the front edge here. So I should be able to come around and see it. Yes, indeed. All right, so we'll take this out like so. And then we can just work it around the side here. Let me. Mm -mm -mm. This tank is not wanting to cooperate. Um, where'd the pipe go? Okay, so I think I'm going to adjust this tank just a little bit. There we go. Luckily, I seem to have placed an extra glass viewer, so I can put you right there. And I can put you, my good valve, right over here. And then this pipe can just feed right up into you. Perfect. All right, so those are connected up top. However, I do know that will one put a bit of seed oil and a bit of honey into each correct container before we let it do it itself. So I should probably get rid of that redstone engine for a bit. And let's see here. Let's just squeeze this honeycomb really quickly and see if we can get some honey drops to centrifuge. Oh, I didn't put... Okay, this is the one that doesn't have coal in it. Alright, so you're the water one, so you need coal. You're the carpenter, you're not... You're sub, okay. <laughs> I thought you were the squeezer. I'm going to move these around. Okay, there we go. Put the squeezer here. The carpenter here. You're the one that doesn't need coal now. So I can put you in here for the centrifuge to try to get some honey. All right, I got some honeydew. So we can shove that in here and turn this on and it should get squeezed pretty quickly into honey, which then should get put up into the Zycraft tank without much of an issue. Okay, so the honey got squeezed and it already says empty, which means the honey, yep, there it is. We can see that the honey is moving up and we can probably come up here and meet it as it goes into the pipe here. Well, actually, I don't want it to go into this one. So we're going to let it go along there, and I think that one over there is the one we decided was going to be the honey. Let me double check that. This is, yeah, this one is the biogas engine, so that makes this one over here the honey engine. Or the honey tank. So, can watch as our very first drops of honey go into our honey tank. And I can come back down here now and turn you off. Get some propolis, get some honeydew, put the honeydew in there. There we go. And then once it does its work, I can turn it off. There we go. Perfect. And we have ourselves a nice little production line under, well, in the process of becoming an actual thing. So if I come look over here, we have a tenth of a bucket of honey. And we're about to get another tenth of a bucket of honey. So let's just watch as the honey enters. And then I will go 
squeeze the other honey drops that we have here. All right, it's going in, and any second. Yep, there we go, 200. Wonderful. All right, so let's go get some of those other honey drops and combs that we have. All right, so let's just go ahead and squeeze up all of this honey that we have, and we'll put the rest of the stuff in here with the chest for now. Okay, there we go. Plenty of beeswax and such. And we'll actually save some of the honey because we can use honey drops for stamps. But for now, we need to get a good honey supply. So let me just turn this engine back on. And I'll let it start processing the honeydew and honey drops. And in the meantime, we can go get some seeds that we can start squeezing for seed oil. Now, I know liquids can't mix, so now that the honey has its own tank, and the seed, the seeds shouldn't mix with it, and the seeds should go into their own tank. However, I am not 100% sure of that, so that is something we will have to double check and test. I'm not really sure what would happen if you mixed liquids. Maybe you'll get some sort of strange honey seed. Are you? You're not doing your work again, are you? This is the second time I've come here and there have just been potatoes sitting around that you haven't picked up. You lazy little golem. Alright, so... Okay, no, I'm not going to take pumpkins. However, the melon guy could use a little breather here. So I'm going to turn... Oh, I'm... Okay, so, sorry about that, dude. I'm going to turn a bunch of these melons into seeds here for seed oil. Alright, I wonder if any other barrels are totally filled up. Let's see here, maybe the flax? No, the flax is doing fine. So it looks like just the melon guy was totally filled up here, but like I said, I can help him out with that by stealing a ton of these seeds for the factory. Alright, there we go. Let's see here, none of you are full, are you? I just, you know, I want to make sure you guys have plenty of work to do. I don't want you to end up like the melon guy where you just have to sit around all day. That'd be a shame, wouldn't it, my little golem slaves? <laughs> oh, let's go see how the seed oil is doing. All right, so what I decided to do was to utilize the space in the factory and actually get a second squeezer set up because just having this one over here I thought would be a bad idea. So this one's now actually working on getting seed oil produced which should come in handy really quickly. <sighs> what is happening? Oh right, okay, so the seed oil is already being pumped out to the machines here. Of course, it doesn't look like there's enough in it to really be noticed yet. All right, speaking of that though, these guys need to get hooked up to the seed oil line. So that should not be a big issue. We'll just go ahead and feed them across over here and, whoopsie daisy, into the system. There we go. Okay, so now I just need to bring this guy down and around, similar to the other one. All right, and I'm going to want to hook up the wooden pipe and redstone engine here. So let's put the redstone engine here. Let's put the pipe down first, so that way the redstone engine actually faces the right way. All right, there we go. And I'll just go ahead and finish off duplicating the system on this side and we should be good. All right, and then it's just one last measure. We're going to connect, okay. Um, we'll connect the honey up to the squeezer here. There we go, and that should fill up pretty quickly. 
I'm gonna have to make some sandstone waterproof pipe so I can actually put it next to this pipe here. I'm gonna do that really quickly. Herp, a derp, the wooden pipe is not connected, my bad. There we go, now we have honey flowing out and a working redstone engine. There we go, our squeezer's happy with life. We will have to double check it for propolis as it comes out. But aside from that, that should go up in there and then quickly be pumped back into our carpenter. That is perfection. Now, we clearly no, we clearly don't have enough seeds to keep these biogas engines full of biogas like it all. So what I'm going to plan on doing is setting up a system for bringing seeds over here to be processed and we will look into that next episode. And actually for now I'm going to put all of my extra building materials in here. I'll go back and grab the sandstone pipes because they're in my other chest. But I'll put all of my extra materials aside from that in here for now. So that way we can easily come back and do some more work here. I don't know why I ended up with potatoes, but that's okie dokie. Alright, so our squeezer's working hard. And we, oh, hello. I see some of the other Amish have discovered my base and have come to try to kill me. Well, that's fine, because you can't take me. I'm just too good at what I do. Now, I think we're going to let these machines run. We're going to let our honey get into tanks. We're going to let our seed oil go into tanks. And we're just going to go check on our trees and bees really quickly. All right, it looks like we're getting plenty of imperial or royal jelly, I mean. Oh, yeah, and you can see I've used the rest of my frames I found in chests to go ahead and make some of these Thomcraft frames which have been quite handy so far and I'm quite excited to get some impregnated sticks under construction so that we can make some more cool frames just go ahead and throw these bees in here and you can see I have a couple of extra indexers now and this indexer is for resource bees, so I have iron bees and lapis bees. And this indexer is for magic bees, and however, I do need end bees to keep breeding down the magic lines. So I know Trevor discovered the end, and I want to see uh, what he wants for some end bees, because those, those are going to be very needed in the near near future. But let's see if we have any crossbred leaves to break. And you know I may have to re-log because, like I've said before, there's a rendering glitch where tree leaves do not always render out in their new color. So I will do that. Alright, we do indeed have some leaves to graft here. You look to be a silver lime. Let's see here. Oh, here's some up here. You look to be a silver birch. Red spruce. Let's see here. Nothing in there. Oh, here's some over here. Apple oak. Let's see here, you look to be a jungle wood, silver lime actually, got a couple on our silver oak, I mean silver lime, your silver lime, that also looks to be a silver lime, let's see here, there's another set of leaves right up in here, let's see here, silver lime, what else? Anything? Anyone else have any presents for me? Oh, there's one up there in the... Ooh, there's one under here as well. You are apple oak. Okay. Nothing fancy. Let's go look at that one oak leaf. You are... are dang, dang it, I fell. Okay. 
Let's try and no. Okay, I can I can get to it. I promise. Oh wait, there's one up in here. Silver lime, silver lime. Okay. All right. I want to get the one on the oh. apple oak and there's another one here actually that is silver lime hmm yep yep okay it appears that we didn't get any other fancy trees this episode oh wait oh fudge cakes That was it. That was the hill cherry right there. I just lost it. Well, thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see y'all next time, and maybe we'll have some hill cherries by then. So until then, toodles!